Hello and welcome to this video. So we are testing FSD beta 8.1. That's the latest version of the FSD push to the um, beta testers. We are outside of Chicago and um, I have set up a destination that will take us through different different routes um, here. We have, um, we were at Target and we're doing um, a quick errand and now we're heading back. So I've put a random destination that will take us through a little bit of downtown, a little bit of um, of uh, other neighborhoods around Chicago. As a reminder, FSD doesn't make the car fully autonomous. I am uh, responsible to take over whenever uh, needed. And if I see the car doing something that it shouldn't be doing, we'll correct it and that information will be sent to Tesla for future uh, improvements. So um, let's, re let's engage FSD here. And if the navigation didn't recalculate, um, we should be going through a little bit of downtown. I know you guys like uh, to see some of the challenging we're facing downtown. So hopefully we'll um, we'll see what FSD brings. As you can see, there's a lot of snow on the side, so that could be um, impacting a little bit how FSD behaves. Uh, right now, FSD does not have the snow as um, as a learning or a learning data. I should say, um, Tesla confirmed that that is something that they're gonna work on in the future. They're collecting a lot of data and hopefully in the future versions, they will be able to adjust that. For people who are not familiar with um, Tesla, the um, steering wheel on the top left, if it's blue, that means that autopilot and FSD um, is engaged. If it turns gray, that means that I'm driving manually. Whenever I disengage, that information goes directly to Tesla and hopefully they will uh, take that into account and improve for future versions. We might also report some of that through the UI, depending on the situation. All right, so coming up to those stops. So far, so good. So we've done some of those routes in the past. Um, so there are some areas that I know are problematic and I want to see if um, there's any improvements between versions we haven't had in it a version um, for a while now I think 20 plus days but um, I'm curious to see if there's any improvements in between versions as well since the neural network um, could be adjusted on the fly okay so we have a car making a left which should be clear in front of us we can go and that's one of the first thing that we're gonna uh, see uh, changes here so we're going over that bridge and then we'll make a left through um, downtown I've been having a lot of different results with the left turn on the traffic light most often it would go onto the opposite lane so if we're making a left into a two-way street it would aim for the opposite lane which is obviously something we don't want and I'd make sure that I disengage every time so Tesla can work on improving that in the future we do, have, we do have some um, detour uh, construction ahead of us. We'll see if um, that will impact our navigation and if FSD needs to readjust based on that. So here we are, making a left here. Slowing down a little bit. Don't have any uh, cross traffic. And this is a one way, so any lane is fine. I would personally stay on the right side since we're gonna make a right at the end, but um, I guess we have plenty of time to make those lane changes. Okay, we have some pedestrians crossing. The car is on the left lane only, so we have to move over. Is it gonna move over? It is moving over, but there's no indicator. So I'm not gonna disengage here, but I will report it. This is a good example where there's no need to disengage. The car did the maneuver but we didn't have the indicator. So we definitely need to train FSD to have that on when needed. So again, in terms of preference, I would prefer to be on the right lane now cause it's open and you know, we don't have to, um, to find a gap, especially since we're gonna make a right turn in a couple of blocks, but we'll see how FSD handles it. So we're in the middle lane, um, and we have, let's say one, two blocks. So two blocks to make the right turn. Hopefully we won't have any lot of, a lot of traffic and the FSD will find a gap to get into.
white is green. Okay, it's taking slowly, taking off slowly, that's fine. We're now clear to make a lane change if we want to. Okay, we passed one block, we still have one block to go. Okay, we have some parked cars and snow banks putting the indicator on. That's actually much better. Oh, no, I spoke too quickly. We should, okay, I'm gonna disengage here. Um, the car was going to go back into that lane, which is fine, but it hesitated. It, um, it started and then decided to go back into our initial lane. That's such a shame. We, we, could have, um, we could have completed that flawlessly. And actually being in the middle lane in that case was better than having to move over earlier because we had some parked cars and snow banks. So we would have have to move over again, so. All right, so let's get under this um, bridge here. And then we're gonna have an upcoming left turn. Which is interesting oh okay I was going to say it's interesting because the screen was saying upcoming lane change and then it had a right turn it's back to that right turn but then it temporarily moved it to left so not exactly sure we'll see Go. so we're gonna go across that bridge oh it wants to move lanes now okay that's fine let's be careful with the snow okay I'm gonna take over here with the snow we're really close to the snow I'll re-engage right before we turn yep okay good so we're gonna make a left turn here Okay, I'm taking over here. We're very close to the curb in the middle. So, um, I needed to take over. All right. It wants to change lane. Interesting. I wouldn't have changed lane here because I know after that we need to be on the left lane. I guess we'll let the car decide. Um, it will probably realize at the end that it needs to make a left turn. So. It does say upcoming lane change and left, so it already knows it needs to make a left turn after that. Okay, we'll be careful with the snowbank here. All good. Okay, so now it realizes it needs to make a left. And we're stuck at the traffic light. It's putting... Hmm. Okay, so it put the... Yeah, right. No, I'm gonna report this. This is going right and left and right. So, using the car behind us. Okay, let's see if we can find a gap. We need to be on the left lane. Yeah, there's potentially a gap now. No, it's not gonna take it. We can go now. Okay, I'm gonna take over here. We should be all the way on this lane if we're gonna make a left turn. Okay, so we're gonna make a left onto this bridge. Uh, this bridge has uh, marking that can be a little bit confusing, but in the past, FSD has been very good at um, at identifying which uh, the lanes, at least on the screen itself. So we'll see if um, it does the same here. We have a green arrow that will allow us to go. It's yellow now. Okay, the car is still going. And we have a bit of snow bank here. So I'm gonna take over too close to the snow um, for my comfort and here it is so I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, if you did make sure to click like and subscribe to the channel the more subscribers we have the more we can grow the channel and support um, support me and the videos that we're doing um, thank you very much for watching I'll see you in a new um, video next time have a great day